um, I will go ahead and start recording. What we've got here is our Hill Orc of Elivalon for the CSDC tournament. Um, last time I had to abandon Ascetic for the six points, unfortunately, because, um, well, we got shafted and we had a bunch of really, really tough stuff around us, and it was really a choice between um, dying or abandoning that conduct. So we um, we abandoned the conduct, <laughs> and that's uh, that's unfortunate. So that means we're six points down, and this is the last game of CSDC, so that's permanent. But um, ever since I ever since I lost the um, Felid Berserker, it was almost impossible for me to win the tournament anyway. So. Right now we're just trying to like maximize our points uh, as much as we can. So we're still going to get a good 16 points for this game if we can pull it off. Uh, all we have to do is not do Lair, and we have to get a Rune from Hell or Pandemonium before anywhere else except for the Abyss. And we can't even enter uh, places like Vaults because those have runes in them. So last time we left off, um, I had painstakingly done Depths 1, and I had done uh, Orc 1 as well, and Orc 2. Uh, I, tried to, I tried to dip into Elf, but there was just uh, too much stuff in the entrance for us to really safely do it. So we've got this wacky, um, we've got this wacky Hill Orc of a Healer God. We're supposed to go forth and aid the weak. But really we're just turning into a big statue man and punching things. So, like I said, we've been lucky enough to find an Amulet of Faith. So, um, just hanging out in the Abyss while it would normally be kind of dangerous for somebody who's relatively low-leveled, although 16 is pretty good, um, we're going to get tons of piety as we walk around. And stat form will let us fight just about anything. Although this is, this is not really the first thing I would have wanted to see, a wretched star. Those guys are going to possibly cause me issues. Okay. Also, this thing is an apocalypse crab. Could cause me issues as well. But he just hasted me and he paralyzed the Raiju. So, uh, I'll take that. <laughs> Anything can happen with Chaos Clouds, you know. I'm glad to hear your uh, Draconian Transmuter is going well, by the way. Salty. Very good. I wonder if I should train some stealth in here. Oh, that's a blink scroll. And we have RF plus and we're staff form hasted. We'll just fight this dude. Oh, put on a ring of fire real fast. That blink scroll's extremely helpful. Okay, we'll take the ring of fire off. Uh, what I wish we had is regen. I would really, 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 really help in here. We don't have that, though. The spell, not not like an item. Although I suppose I'd take an item, too. But um, our amulet is faith, so... I mean, this, this may look like it's kind of tough because, you know, we're like half dead. But we're worshipping Eli, so I can pretty much heal myself whenever I want to. Also, we just found an exit. Don't mutate me, bro. Unfortunately, before I started this run, I splatted in D2 like a moron, so no streak. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, um, Salty, is that, like, you're, you're gonna have, um, you're gonna have that kind of problem. Like, early in the game is where you're really gonna lose the most, you know? Um, so, I mean, that's just, that's just the nature of DCSS, really. Can we melee this? Yes, we can. All right, so check it out. I'm going to go ahead and leave, okay, just to get my hit points and stuff back. We'll rest up here. Now, unfortunately, there's a frost giant, and we actually do not have RC+. Plus. Um, so we're kind of... <laughs> this, is, this is kind of bad, I guess. Hmm. What do we do about this? We could just go... Hey, MD, thanks for the bits, man. By the way, let me know if it's um, if my connection is lagging today so I can yell at my uh, ISP some more. 
yeah, he can he can double zap me here. Let's try it. Because the the uh, bolts work in a special way. You know, like usually only lightning double zaps and bounces off walls, but for crystal walls, fire and ice actually will bounce as well. Thank you for reminding me about that, doesn't he? Um, so he can actually do 25, 50, 75 damage. He can actually do 150 damage to me right here, which um, we, we don't want. We don't want that at all. But we don't have a resistance potion, right? Also, why didn't... That's weird. Envy, Envy gave me 10 bits, but my alert never came up. How strange. Give me one second to figure out what's going on there. I need to log into Muxy Alerts. Sorry guys, just one second. Just um, figuring out what's going on with my alerts. If it wants to let me log in <laughs> on my laptop. All right. I do have two-factor authentication on this, don't I? I've never had the alerts just not come up before. Usually, like, the only issue I've had with them is... is that, um... well, as you guys know, the audio sometimes, sometimes doesn't come up. Bro, well, that's bizarre. I'm resending it. It's just not... it's just not showing up. Okay, well, I don't want to troubleshoot this on stream. Hey, Regondon, what's up, man? Just trying to figure out what's going on with my alerts here. Envy was kind enough to send me some bits, and um, <laughs> Muxy is just, like, failing. Streamlabs OBS must be looking pretty good right now. Well, here's the thing about that. Um, that does not exist, really, um, unless you're on a Windows machine, and I'm not. But yeah, it is. Um, but Streamlabs has their own little alerts that I could use. I just haven't switched over because I had a working system, you know? But this is, um, this is obnoxious enough that I, I, might very well, I might very well swap out, you know? Hold on, let me, um, I'm gonna go off stream for like five, just five seconds. No, it's not frozen, regard, and I'm just fixing something. Um, just, just give me like literally two seconds. I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna reload the, uh, the system. Alright, that's fixed. Um, he fell for the Linux meme. No, I didn't fall for the Linux meme. I, um, I mean, yeah, actually I did fall for the, for the Linux meme, but I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not actually trying to stream from Linux right now. I'm trying to stream from, uh, from Mac, <laughs> but my, my daily driver machine that I use for programming and stuff, uh, I mean, Linux is actually very, very good for, for what I do use it for, um, but I do think that streaming from a Windows machine is probably the most straightforward experience you're going to have. Oh, no, Anani Badger, that's just like a joke, I don't think, it's not like, I don't think it was actually insulting Linux, it's just like, it's just like a 4chan thing. Anyway, uh, what am I going to do, back to the game, what am I going to do about this Frost Giant, right? He could actually one-shot me right now. I think that the move would have been Fog, but I don't have that either. Um, we could just, like, dip right back into the Abyss, I guess. I mean, that would be an option. Maybe have RC Plus by the time he's back. We actually have plate armor of RC+. We could, we could pop that on 
and then leave, <laughs> you know. Um, Regardon, we're probably not going to go into Tomb, but maybe. I mean, doesn't he... You are aware that he could notice me and then hit me twice with the bolt. That's why I'm worried about going straight into the the vault. Like, the actual, the actual correct move here is to... Um, like, 100% safe move is to blink here with a blink scroll. But that's also kind of... Um, like super, super insanely dangerous in and of itself, because there could be more stuff. I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna take the chance and go in. He was far enough away that the bolt did not bounce. Like it hit me and that reduced its range by one, but he did, he did hit me, dude. We could have died. Like that's, that's big time, man. I think he almost did maximum damage there. How, how many hit points did we have before? Was that almost 75 damage? I think that was almost max. Anyway, we have a nice cozy little, like, trash can slash prison that we've landed in. So I can rest here for a while. Now I could read Telly, but um, I think I'm happy to just wait. Something is bathed in unholy light. It's weird. <laughs> is there like a profane servitor hanging out outside? Dude, I've waited like a thousand turns. This is so dumb, man. How many turns have I waited? I'm just killing my piety now at this point. Why is this possible? Should I... Sh I don't want to waste one of my only two tellies. Just teleport with my two tellies? Come on, man. This is supposed to be a cozy stream. What are you doing to me, Abyss? Like, there should be an Abyss Telly that kicks in. Okay, we were finally Telly. That saved me a Telly scroll. I think that was worth it. And to be fair, I mean, I'm getting Piety back crazy fast. Hold on, let's not fight this Lich. We may have to fight this Lich. Hope he doesn't have Paralysis. Okay, he noticed me. We gotta fight him. Go stat for him. Make a box of beasts. Box falls apart, we only get a larval, larval beast. Hopefully he can't para us. Alright, he's constricted, that's super good. Even the little baby beast is actually really helpful for us, because now the lich is, uh, his, his EV is trashed. He's not casting, which I'm cool with. Oh, he's got haste. He could very well be the LCS, um... <laughs> he could be the LCS Lich. But we got him. Nice. Okay, I don't want to hear any accursed screaming today, so... Looks like I'm going to have to hear some accursed screaming. <laughs> i have to take, take down these star curse masses. Anyway, um, Envy, thank you for the uh, bits earlier, and that actually reminds me. Uh, from now on, I'm going to add that to my sort of pre-stream checklist to actually test out um, one, of the, one, of, one of the alerts, because it seems like Seems like sometimes OBS can just get like desynced or something. All right, good night, Regandan. Enjoy that uh, European French time zone there. Okay, actually, we could could be we could actually use all revs here to great effect. I can even math cloud myself and confuse some of this stuff. I wonder if I should be preemptively healing myself, you know? Um, like in between fights with, with Eli's abilities. Or even using Divine Vigor, which is just incredibly powerful. Um, 
This is interesting. I just realized something. Why why is divine protection below divine vigor on the list since you get protection first? That's weird. Anyway, vigor is great. You'll see how great vigor is here in a minute. We're going to use vigor to kill that frost giant. <laughs> Well, the walls just shifted. Um, tell you what, let's heal here. I can no longer call upon a level on for Divine Vigor. Got the Wretched Star. Immune to poison. We could actually get paralyzed here, dang. I'm going to use the box of beasts. I don't know exactly how many star curse masses you need to get paralyzed, but I don't think it's that many. This is definitely enough. Greater heal. Try to petrify. It works. Got a sort of a quasi kill hole here. Certainly helps. And the Abyss is actually helping. It's like good good guy Abyss is making walls around me in ways that are really, really quite helpful. Um, which is, I think, a first for me. Okay, we got mutated, but we just had uh, teeth. You know, so that's actually a good mute. Bit of a mana problem here. Let's let's rest on the way down. I don't want to go down. I'd rather just heal. Maybe this A-bomb won't notice me. But he does. Oh, oh god. I forgot these can do incredible damage. Um, greater healing. Greater healing. Punch. This is rough. There's an exit, but, you know, there's a frost giant waiting for me out there. I guess we could, like, I guess we could Ambrosia here. I wish I had Toxic up, though. I am going to Ambrosia. Just to get my mana back. Greater healing. I can't use Vigor, okay. That's an issue. I would like to use Vigor to... Oh, we don't even have more Greater Healing. Shit. Well, if I leave now, I could have these Raiju next to me. This is looking really ugly, though. I think we have to haste. We have to leave. We don't have... I was kind of hoping the... Yeah, for, of course Frosty's still here. I was hoping Frosty would be like... You know, he wouldn't be able to blast me because I thought that there might be a Raiju in his way. But, um, well, no. From that position, I don't think he can blast me. 
are they smart enough to try to shoot past in a way that I'm not real clear on the positioning, but that this might be such that this Raiju blocks his bolt, or I just got lucky. Anyway, we're hasted, which is helpful. Just Eli heal. Yeah, um, I was going to do that, but then my piety ran out. I think what we do is we blink. Probably like right here, and we head for the staircase up. Okay, um, we're still staff formed, but he can't kill us. He can do 70, 75 damage, and we're like a little bit faster than him. So we could sort of walk away here, but it's kind of a problem, you know. Once we're out of staff form, it's not a problem, right? We can just go faster, but we don't have enough hit points to guarantee, especially out of staff form, that he's not going to just wreck us. Okay, now he can one-shot us. How's the range? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. I'd say rations are an issue, but we actually have tons of gold, or we're, we're getting gold from the Abyss and things like that. And there are um, a bunch of ration shops in Orc. So now we're just going to try to get this dude. 25% chance to petrify. I think instead we just toxic. Punch, punch. Should have hasted. Shit. Um, I should have hasted immediately. We could actually die here. Um, yeah, I should have hasted and mited immediately. Whoops. Too much confidence in staff form actually working. What can I do about this? Nothing good. I guess I could preemptively haste, although that is kind of miserable. Um, I mean, I should I should have hasted before I had 114 hit points. Well, we're hasted now. Just keep bolting me, bro. I really appreciate it. So then, what do we do? Do we do we agi first? Do we might and just swing? I think we agi. Dude, he's just bolting every turn, every single turn, man. You've got to be shitting me with this. He's not going to try to swing on me once? I mean... <laughs> and the bolts are all hitting. Oh, uh, man, bad luck, bad luck. I guess I could, like, Divine Protection and go for the Teleporter, but that's insane. Plus, I think Divine Protection might... Um, I feel like Eli might immediately get mad at me because he's poisoned and taking damage. Maybe. Can't even really get anywhere upstairs. I guess I could fear, but that's insane. I'm gonna might. He tries to bolt again and misses. Punch, tries to bolt again and misses, tries to bolt again and misses. He's bolting every single turn. I want you guys to observe. And this is when I say, like, you got to plan for the worst-case scenario. The worst-case scenario almost happened here. The worst-case scenario in this case was him just, like, bolting repeatedly for 75 damage a pop. Um, he bolts us. All right. Bolts us again. That's two in a row. He swings on us. All right. I didn't notice that, but still. He bolts us. Okay. He bolts us. Fifth bolt. He bolts us. Sixth bolt. Two exclamation points each. Boom, 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 boom. He bolts us. Seventh bolt. He bolts us. Eighth bolt. Almost nine bolts in a row with one single regular attack in between. Does that seem... I mean, we're really lucky that these three missed. But, like, doesn't that seem kind of outrageous? <laughs> 
you got to assume these things are going to happen, though. Let's go up. Depths, is, uh, depths 1 is actually safe. And yes, Salty, it's, it's all dependent on the MR of the monster. So it wasn't super likely to work against the um, Frost Giant. You could probably math out you know, the actual chances if you wanted to. Okay, there's a Necromancer. He could have Bolt of Cold as well. And of course he does, because why wouldn't he? Statue form. Punch, punch, punch. Is the Vampire Mage deadly? Not really. If I want to, I can pop on Robe of the Arc Magi, and I do want to. That gives me more AC in staff form. All right, I'm going to close this door. I'm going to close this door. At the very least, that means that things will not come into this room unless they have hands. So that's that's helpful, <laughs> you know. Although most of the things I'm worried about do have hands, I won't have to fight like a, I don't know, an ice dragon. But if something's, uh, if something's handless, it's probably an animal, and that would be nice, I suppose, for Eli's pacification. Okay, these are good enemies to fight. Now, I've used up tons of my resources trying to kill that frost giant. In fact, we were in a very bad bind if we need to kill something. Oh, uh, we got stealth to five. I feel like we... You know, we've got statue form basically online. I feel like we train dodging. Or maybe even shields and get that large shield on. That'd be nice. I should pick up this actual shield. Yeah, that would help a lot. Also, other spells are available. Um, I think that Irradiate's probably worth getting. That's some guaranteed damage if it if it actually casts, you know. Nothing else is really that useful. I could go for dragon form at some point as well, but probably not. Oh, a net. Nets, nets can be lifesavers. What do you like better, Fireball or Mef Cloud plus Ignite? Um, Fireball's more straightforward. Mef Cloud plus Ignite has a lot more panache. I would say that Fireball's probably stronger, even though Mef Cloud... Well, it's a lot of mana investment and time investment, because you got to spend two turns setting up Mef Cloud plus uh, Ignite Poison. Fireball's definitely simpler, simpler to use. Is there anything I want to amnesia? Not really. Mef Cloud by itself is better to have than both in many situations. That's an excellent point, honestly. Like, uh, I mean, one of the issues is that Mef Cloud lets you reset fights in ways that, you know, th through a mechanism that uh, just works really well against certain things. You know, like a Hornet can be a game ruining enemy if you find it early enough. But with Mef Cloud, uh, suddenly you can just kind of make it go away. Although with the nerf to, with with the nerf that happened to confuse, it's not as good as it used to be. 
Okay, we found a potion of invisibility, that's awesome. We also found a scroll of vulnerability, which helps a lot. You know, so we're, we're kind of rebuilding our stockpile of things here. I'd rather have haste, might, agility, but um, beggars cannot be choosers, man. We're definitely not out of the woods yet. Really nasty things could happen here. But, um... This is better than it, than it might be, you know. I wouldn't go so far as to call, um... I wouldn't go so far as to call that a trap. Like, I don't think Ignite, Ignite Poison is a trap. I just think it's, um... Well, I mean, you could do fun things with it. It's more of a thing you get sort of on the side. If you don't, if you're not like a dedicated fire dude. I will say this, um, Ignite Poison would be, way, would be way cooler if it was in the Venom Mage start book. Which I think it should be. One time I played a uh, Wanderer who had the good fortune of having both Mef Cloud and Ignite Poison in the same book, and it was a lot of fun. Dude. All right. I don't want to spend much time on this floor, so we're going to go up. We're going to rest. And then we're going to go back to the abyss. Got another scroll of vulnerability. Those are huge, man. The fact that we can use those and then paralyze things, or use those and then uh, petrify things, very, very good. I would train more evocations, by the way, but we're kind of hurting on wands. The only thing we would really be getting out of that is the box. I wish we had a sack of spiders. Okay, I'm not afraid of a six fur he. Hey, I just realized something. I, I was saying I wish I had regen, but that's dumb because I'm worshipping a good aligned god, and regen is technically necromancy. So even if I wanted that, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't use it, you know? Another reason I, another reason Eli sucks in all caps. I mean, yeah, I, I calculated it. Like, th there are reasons why I went Eli. Like, doing this with Biog would be miserable as hell, more than it already is, you know? Like, this is dangerous, but it actually feels kind of cozy, you know? Trying to do this with with B.O. just would not be a good time. Dude. Don't. This is such a lively Raiju. There we go. Got him with the clouds. But like with Sif Muna, um, I don't know, I have to wonder which would be better, because like I'm getting tons of piety here by virtue of um shit. Hold on a second. Yeah, by virtue of exploring I'm getting piety, but with Sif I would have to be getting experience to gain piety, you know. Do I wanna like do I wanna do an abyss telly? That'd take a while. This is a lot of shit coming for me, though. Apocalypse, Apocalypse Crab, and then like a totally, totally healed Starker's Mass. Full hit points. Okay. Got the paralysis on, paralysis on this, but 
This is still pretty bad. If we got paralyzed by chaos clouds, that'd be miserable. Why don't we go ahead and use a telly? Re-up staff form. Kill that. Take our chances with the chaos. Seems to be working out nicely for me. I'm going to drink magic so I can heal myself if I need to. In fact, I'm going to heal myself right now. Dude. Uh, yeah, Te Telly does take longer in the Abyss. Better healing, unless something has changed. Of course we're slow. Beautiful. Para. Para Berserk. All right. That certainly was something, and that's why I really don't like Chaos Clouds. Uh, we could have died there. Dude, I want to take my stealth up to like 10. <laughs> Not even joking. I almost want to focus stealth up, man. Just so I can walk away from obnoxious things in here. Like, what I really want to do is I want to farm piety. You know, and that's, that's pretty easy to do in here, especially with faith, but... It's made harder by the fact that I have to take these really hard fights. And of course there's a food clock. Is this guy resistant to poison? He's immune. Okay. Okay, we can fight an Etten Skeleton, I feel good about that. feel good about a Fire Giant Skeleton. Nice. Oh. That is a Bone Dragon. Um... Can we kill a bone dragon? Can we melee a bone dragon? I don't think we can melee a bone dragon. Unless unless luck is on our side. They're some of the best melee in the game, actually. I think I'll use my... Oh no, I do have two tellies. Alright, I'm going to use one of my last tellies. And I can just heal myself if need be. Like, I guess, I guess we could probably heal through any fight with this, but... Look at this, he's wrecking me. Greater healing. Telly kicks in. If I could just fight these little... Well, he disappeared, but... Oh, there he is. These little sort of Lavos uh, star spawn clone guys. If I could just fight nothing but them, that'd be great. We are getting stronger. That was a level. Scroll of Fear. Another one of these dudes. I'll take it. Alright. I'm going to try to melee this thing. I feel like we have enough piety. and therefore enough heals to probably make it work. I wasn't really thinking about... There we go. Lignify. No, um, Lignify is a really good tool, but you have to bear in mind that it takes your EV to zero, and the AC on it would actually be worse uh, than if I were to just use staff form. Um, Lignify is a tool that you use usually when you don't have any transforms, or if you want to be immune to... Um, torment. Staff form goes to 32% with a shield on, so we won't wear it yet. Um, I think we'll focus shields though. Maybe I should just do shields and nothing else, because the thing that's the thing that's going to give me help the soonest is getting getting shields to 15 or close enough that I can easily stat form with a shield on. 
mean, that'll be tremendous. A lot of bone dragons. By the way, I could irradiate if I wanted to. The only reason I'm not doing it to this guy is that he's undead, and so I don't actually get the debuff. Also, we just had a really sick fight against a bone dragon. Potion of magic, all right. Dude, farming the abyss really can be cozy. Like, look at look at all these sick items we're getting. Still no might haste agi, but who needs it, man? Should probably be a little more careful around things that can mutate me, though. Or paralyze me, for that matter. I'm going to use positioning, um, and I'm also going to do... Well, I'm not going to do a greater healing. We can fight this. Very frail, but it's temp mute. You worried about mutations of farming abyss? Uh, yeah, not the temporary ones like you said, but Nekazex, I, I would rather I would rather not end up. I mean, if I ha honestly, teleportitis would be pretty good to have um, in this particular case. Although it also wouldn't because depths two is not clear, so then I'd be risking getting pulled to some horrible section of uh, of depths. Constantly. But like Zerkitis could be obnoxious, for example. If we found enough gold in here, we could get LRD and then we could go do Elf pretty safely. Which is, by the way, a direction I could have taken this character in the first place instead of staff form, and it might have even been better. Greater heal. That's a way out. Let's take it. I like that there's a hatch right here that I can safely dive into. I'm having trouble keeping my piety up, which is kind of funny because we do have a faith amulet. You'd think we'd be getting just tons of piety running around in there, but we're, we're spending it quite a bit. Um, by the way, there are a lot of rations available, so that's why I'm not super worried about food, even though I am burning through them. Hey, a wand. Disintegrate, that's helpful. It's not the best wand I could have asked for, but... Sick. Tons of gold. Come on, give me greater healing back. There we go. I think it's kind of funny that Eli loves that I'm exploring this sort of horrible, devilish, uh, chaos land. You know? Come on. All right. I was going to say, I should, I should be able to kill an Executioner in stat form. Shit, there's two of them. Greater heal. Are you still training UH? I assume you mean UC? Um... I mean, yeah, I should be training, you see. I was training shields because I, the first thing I want right now is um, I want to get this shield on, but I agree with you that training you see is also something I should be doing. In fact, I think I'll turn that on at the same time. Dude, I don't want to, I don't want to fight both of these things at the same time. I almost think we have to use a scroll to blink because this is ugly as hell. 40 damage. 40 damage, you know? 
Shit. Oh, they don't see invisible. Let's just pop that. Greater heal. No longer provide greater healing for yourself, okay. Bro. Okay, alright, okay. We'll blink away. Go into this sort of kill hole, but they're still following. Oh, this is really ugly. Um, I guess we could have volmed and then parried this. We still could, but it's kind of dangerous in here, and there's a, I know there's a flayed ghost coming. Hmm. What to do? Burning through resources, not not so good. Hey, Telly. Okay, curing. Read Vuln. Petrify, petrify, but it works both times, thankfully. I'm gonna chug some curing. Three, four. It's probably good enough. Is this a hole? Sort of. Come on, let me rest here. Super, super scary now that we don't have um, blink, telly, haste, really anything to get out of situations. I really should have anticipated the how poorly we were going to melee those large A-bombs. It's hilarious because we, we're actually better at meleeing a bone dragon than we are a large A-bomb. Just because the bone dragon's attacks are split up into more um, more hits, you know, and so it can do a lot of damage, but each one is affected by my staff form GDR. How much more money do I need to go to Elf? About 300, 3, 330 if I wanted to get LRD. We could do it now if we wanted to, and in fact I'm sort of sort of inclined to do so. Still have three potions of mana and two ambrosia and four curing, so it's not the most the most terrible situation I've seen, but you know, the potions of mana are only valuable insofar as I have greater healing available. So I actually kind of need to keep exploring. Can we, let's see, let's put on the shield. We can cast staff form at 22% with the shield. So we're going to do that. Don't want to fight a Deep Elf Sorcerer. That could certainly be the end of me. This is a nice cozy little hole. I think we'll rest up in here.
Oh. Okay, this is this is ugly as hell. Um. Let's think about this. Forty damage. Those do way more damage than I thought they did. Shit, man, we might be owned. Chance to pacify zero percent. <laughs> Tough situation, guys. I guess I could probably LRD and maybe get the kill, like pop on a Brilliance and then just start... Did I say LRD? I meant to say Radiate. I think that's the move. Of course, there's two Sirens here attacking me. That sucks. I think we take a step first. Okay. Then we Brilliance. Attack. Attack. Irradiate, irradiate, irradiate. All right, it's dead. That helps. Um, still not the best situation I've ever been in, but way better than it was a second ago. This dude's magic immune, so we cannot even um, tag him with para or petrify, even if we wanted to. Well, we could petrify him. Wait, is he magic immune? Okay, I don't know, I must have been trying to polymorph? That's interesting. You can't polymorph a thrashing horror, but you can paralyze it. Is that technically undead? I guess it is. Okay. I suppose this thing could siren song me, but I'm not sure how much I care. I think what we do, in fact, Vulm. Nice. With a paralysis here, this stuff can't bother me. Disintegrate that stuff to death. Dude. 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 Okay. I probably disintegrated him way more times than I should have, but I was getting irritated. <laughs> Box of beasts. Box of beasts. Of course, of course there's a rock Sasha that's just showing up for funsies, and I'm mesmerized. We can have a couple of sort of small beasts helping us out. Statue form is still up. We're mesmerized, but it's not the end of the world. God power and make it to exit. Uh, what, you want me to use divine protection? Problem with that is that we're mesmerized. We really either have to take out these sirens or kill the world binder that summoned them. Kind of a problem. I think that we need to greater heal to start with. Don't your healings remove mental status effects? Um, no, I, I don't. I don't think that purification stops mesmerization. It probably should, but the fact that it's grayed out tells me that it doesn't really affect it. I assume. Worldbinders are immune to poison. Dang. Tell you what we'll do is we'll meth cloud this so those things are confused and start attacking their friends, possibly. Another box of beasts. Step. Greater healing. 
starving now, I have to eat a ration. I guess I could swing down. I could like walk down and start swinging on the rock, Sasha, now. Hmm. Still statue formed. We no longer have access to greater healing, so we're in quite a pickle. We have lesser healing, but that sucks. I mean, I guess we could like divine protection and try to make it towards this downstairs, but there's stuff in the way, you know? So it's not real likely to work. I feel like instead I should try to make it to this little kill hole and just try to duke it out. So these flying skulls are fine. If I could petrify one, that would let me make a clean break. Let's quaff magic. Petrify. Gotta kill the rock Sasha. This would have worked out just fine. Holy shit, we're almost dead. Curing. Get the rock Sasha. Take a step. I'm really irritated because if that rock Sasha had not blinked right behind us, we could have petrified those two skulls and just wandered off. Now we're in kind of a horrific situation. This thing can do 40 damage to us. Outrageous. We're probably dead. Um... I could Divine Protection, but, like, for what purpose, you know? Even making it downstairs, we'll have stuff follow us, I think. Bro, this sucks. I thought this was going to be so smooth. I guess we could have, like, irradiated here. No, fear won't work. Um, well, fear could work against not, not the thrashing horror, but the demons technically could be feared. Um, I think. But their MR is pretty good, so it's unlikely to work. My instinct is to box of beasts, or to like walk here, but if I walk here, the stuff is going to be smart enough to like wander behind. Problem is we've got like smite target, smite target, smite target, star curse mass, and uh, smoke demon. We only have 28 hit points. I like how the star curse mass um, doesn't actually list out its ability to um, smite you for damage. Kind of interesting. Oh man. This is rough. This is really rough. Let me look up Scrolls of Fear real fast. Yeah, it, it can work here. It's not likely to work, but it can. If we could luck out and fear this thing, that would let us get away, probably. Because um, he would at least take a step this way. Or maybe not, I don't know. So 
Smoke demon is unaffected. I could have sworn the demons could be feared. Whoops. Okay, well that was a waste of a turn. That's bizarre. So you can you can discord demons, but you can't you can't fear them. That's funny. Take a step. So at least we're not getting smited. Yeah, that was a waste of a turn. I guess we could like net this dude, except he's immune to nets, so that doesn't work. Oh my god, like, we're gonna lose this to just because of a rock Sasha, man. Like, I had the perfect thing where we were gonna, we were gonna petrify these dudes and just wander safely off in this direction because nothing can get, nothing can get, ah, excuse me, nothing can get past the two statues that were here. But the rock Sasha just shot that plan to hell. Um... Do I divine protection and make it for the like mate for the downstairs? Is that the move here? Seems crazy. I mean, like I bet, I bet Eli won't even protect me, because it's not it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed unless you're at high piety, and it drains your piety every time you would die. I think. Can my allies attack? Probably not. Killing others while asking for divine protection will cause penance. I guess I can check divine protection. Guaranteed if you're above 130 piety, which I don't believe I am. You lose 20 plus 1d20 piety each time it happens. That's a lot. Your effect, ooh, your effect of piety is multiplied by 4 out of 3 if wearing faith. That's good. We're wearing faith. If you kill a natural monster while under divine protection, penance is imposed. Um... Well, demons are not natural monsters. What I don't remember is if you go... I know if you leave Abyss through one of these exits, things will follow you. I'm not sure if things follow you when you go deeper. Alright, we're using Divine Protection. That did not kill us. Five hit points. Um... Oh, this is so bad, guys. Yeah, I'm protected, but, like, it's not guaranteed that I'll, um... that I will, uh... be saved if I die. And we're probably gonna die, like, 50 times on the way if we try to make it to the staircase. So I have to wonder if it might be better for me to just... Try to melee this shit to death one by one. Because I don't think Eli cares if I kill undead or demonic things while under protection. I don't know exactly what this means by natural mon monster, and I don't know. I don't know if this learn DB is even uh, this learn DB entry is actually up to date. This goes to show how often I use uh, Elivalon, which is not often. Jeez. Um, I feel like... I don't know. Like, no matter what I do, we're going to end up with these crazy-ass you know, smite attacks 
every step of the way, no matter where we're going. We just don't have tools to stop that from happening, you know? And that's going to drain like an enormous amount of piety every single time it happens if I die, you know? I feel like... I feel like we just make a stand here and we use Box to help. Box of Beasts. Spawn tentacles. Of course, we get only a larval one, although that's not surprising because, yeah, no, I don't think they're considered natural. Swing. Okay, I would have died, but I didn't. Swing, and we're dead. All right, that sucked. Um, made a fair few mistakes. Uh, trying to trying to fear was definitely. Definitely an issue. Um, a lot of this was just, we just ran out of stuff, you know. Um, if I had handled a few situations throughout the game a little bit, um, a little bit, a little bit more carefully, we probably would have had more resources to, you know, um, handle the later threats, you know. I'm not sure how much I care, considering... Um, Considering we got boned out of ascetic anyway with a shaft, um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I could have handled the frost giant problem with less resources, uh, maybe like a quicker use of resources. I just kind of tried to melee him. I, I rolled the dice on that semi on purpose, you know. Um, like I had hoped that we would be able to melee him down without using resources, and then he proceeded to just like bolt us a billion times in a row without swinging which uh, obviously is way worse than him swinging with his axe because uh, GDR at least applies when he's, when he's swinging with the axe. And that caused us to have to use like a ton of, uh, a ton of resources that would have been better off used in here. Um, I'm not sure if that was a mistake, though, you know, because nine times out of ten it would have worked out. All we had to do was swing on the Frost Giant and, <laughs> and actually hit and do good damage, you know, and we would have outdamaged him. Um, yeah, the only, the only major mistake I can think of is, is trying to fear right there. Um, but even that, I mean, I think at that point we were pretty much guaranteed dead. Um, so I don't, I don't see that as much of a big deal. But yeah, other than the frost giant and, uh, possibly the way I handled the shaft back with, uh, you know, back, back when I was still on ascetic. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to think of things that potentially I could have messed up. And that's a good thing to do. After you lose a game, you should always do this. Just, like, think back to the, the various positions where you could have made mistakes. And the only one that I'm, like, the only thing I'm 100% sure was a mistake was, uh, the, the fear scroll, which, of course, like I said, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. I would have died anyway. But, um, yeah, like, when I got shafted, I could have... Potentially, I don't know what, how many of you were there when I first got shafted during the ascetic, um, during, um, dur during when I was still doing ascetic, but I sort of got dumped into this min -may vault with a ton of crap coming at me, and I could have chosen to dig a kill hole and try to fight it out there, but instead I took a teletrap, and like hindsight is twenty twenty, but the teletrap took me into more, into more dangerous things. Um, but then again, more dangerous stuff could have come to my position. So that, I don't know if it was a mistake, but it was definitely a different option. And then, like I was saying with the, the Frost Giant, there were some other options there. Um, skilling might have also been slightly wrong. Um, I guess maybe maybe we should have been dumping everything in, into unarmed combat as soon as we got to the Abyss. But that probably wouldn't have saved us here either. You know, we just kind of got dumped on by Abyss 1 in a way that I didn't expect. The, num the number one thing that I planned poorly is that um, I assumed that with Faith Amulet and Abyss, because it's been a while since I've played Eli, like, I assumed that as soon as I got in here and was just, like, dicking around, running around, having fun, I thought my piety would be max in, like, five seconds flat, you know? Um, and that's been my experience in the past. I don't know if they've changed something or if I was just using 
greater heal more often than I uh, intended. But like if we had, like if we had max piety here, we would have been fine. Like I would have popped on vigor, which would have put my hit points to like 400. Um, I would have just greater healed my way to <laughs> to, to victory. Um, so you, you could say that maybe I should have trained more invo. That would have made the heals more uh, more powerful, which would have made me use them less, which would have saved my piety. But I wasn't really inclined to train. It's kind of like a which came first, chicken or egg. Like I wasn't really inclined to train a bunch of invo because uh, I, I was staying below the threshold for greater heal so often, you know. So it didn't seem worth it. But with that plus three aptitude, it might it might have been worth it. But yeah, that that's the most shocking part I think is that with Faith Ami we were still having piety issues like that. Kind of is mind blowing. But um, yeah, I mean this kind of thing happens when you try to do a no layer challenge. Like a Nani Badger said, this was a hard game, and it was. But um, I mean that's sort of the nature of a no layer challenge, I guess. But if we hadn't, um, <laughs> well, if, if I hadn't been playing to the crowd in my Ogre Wizard game, we could have, um, we could have entered Lair in this game. So, it's also sort of like, you know, like I say, there's many ways that you can screw up a game, right? Uh, from the beginning when you're, like, skilling to the end, you know, in, like, the actual battle that got you killed. Um, in CSDC your tactics can actually come back to haunt you in future games, right? Like if you, you know, depending on where you choose to do your one-time only bonus challenge, uh, you can you can actually, like, screw yourself because then you have to, like, go back and do it on a character where maybe it's less, less optimal. You know, because I splatted my Ogre Wizard because I was, like, playing to the crowd. The crowd wanted me to go into a Zig, and I knew it wasn't the optimal thing, but somebody subbed. It was uh, SG West, actually, and... Um, I'm not complaining, by the way, that was totally fine, but, like, I did know it was not the optimal thing to do, um, and then I messed up the zig a little bit, and, uh, we splatted, which took away, even though we had gotten, we can, we had actually gotten the runes and whatnot that we needed to win the game, I think, uh, but we had done it all without going into lair, and so, like, I didn't get that bonus because I didn't actually finish the game, so, I mean, that's kind of, kind of what I have to say about it. I'll probably do a uh, sort of a retrospective once all the CSDC videos are out on YouTube and just sort of talk about each game and how it went um, and maybe like what <laughs> basically the entire CSDC loss is SG West's fault. Uh, I'm not going to go that far. Hey, I can't, I can't be mad at the guy. He did sub to me. So, um, I mean, it's cool. He's a cool guy. Um, and I am perpetually willing to play to the crowd and do uh, sort of crazy tactics if it's entertaining. But in this case, in this case, I guess I could say it didn't work out too well. Do a retrospective stream? Um, I could. That kind of makes it a little harder for me to do like visuals um, live. I mean, I guess I could like, I guess I could do a retrospective stream and then um, sort of cut it up and put it on YouTube later. What I was thinking of is, like, back in the day, a while ago, probably like a year ago now, but, like, back when I was first doing streaking in a Dungeon Crawl, I, what I would do is every time I would lose the streak, I would do a retrospective on that game and talk about exactly what it is that, that got me killed, you know? Um, and it's kind of what I, what I envisioned doing. Um, it was just like a slideshow-type deal, you know, with images from the game, and like, okay, well, this is where I could have done something differently, like, this is my skilling, this is the actual situation that got me killed, things like that. Um, I guess I could, like, prepare that kind of stuff and just bring it up on the stream. I'd have to think about that. Um, and I'm not sure how many people would be interested in, in uh, watching what's basically like a... It's kind of like a PowerPoint, but if, uh, if, if there's interest, I'll do it for sure. I just think the production quality might be a little higher if I if I pre-record it, you know. But um, yeah, this was this was a rough game. I do think that Abyss was pretty uh, Kappa not interested. Um, I do I do think this game. I don't know. This was a pretty rough Abyss. Although if you spend enough time in Abyss One, it will punish you, you know. Um, 
that's that's just a fact. Like it's it's RNG, you know. Sometimes a business is friendly to you, sometimes a business is not. And it's like as long as you're there long enough, it will it will dunk on you. I mean it will it will dunk on you if you're like level twenty seven, but if you're trying to desperately level up after your uh <laughs> after your no layer uh, section of the game, then it then it may very well dunk on you. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com slash support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.